everybody? How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's had a great, wonderful day. Had a great, wonderful day. However you're going on. Definitely need a lot of thinking juice today. It is a wonderful mm. 45 degrees. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Oh, yeah. Love, love the weather. Right? I Getting love into it. this nice stuff. Oh, it's just so sweet. Love this time of year. Trying to hopefully hope I don't make a... I've been thinking, been thinking. I think this is going to be the spot where I'm going to actually put up. If you've, <laughs> if you've watched us, we do nothing but a lot of portable stuff because we're still not for sure with everything going on of where we want to put things. So today, I'm going to put up a permanent structure. I'm going to drill me some holes, put some posts down so it ain't moving nowhere for the goats and maybe something else. Maybe. Maybe. Um, you can take your guesses as we're building. But just gonna build something a little small. Uh, so far, what's in my head is maybe a 10 by 10 building. Mm -hmm. Three-sided for- To shelter. A good shelter for wind and rain. Because goats, they can they can handle cold cold temperatures. Um, they don't like water, though. <laughs> the other thing, possibly going to be sharing this area. Mm -hmm. it, it, they could take the cold too. I mean, they well, all, all animals pretty much can. Uh, you know, we but, don't we don't live in Alaska or you know up. High Minnesota. north, you know, where it gets in the negatives and stuff. We don't get too many days. It's super cold. Super cold down. I mean, up here. I mean, we get. It some gets cold, cold enough that they do need a windbreak, and of course, they need shelter from the rain. So we're thinking this little area. It's a little close to one side of the property over here. Little closest to the front part of the property, but we think that this area that we still got to do some clearing because you can see we're kind of in a shaded area. But we kind of need to get this done so we can get, you know, because winter is coming. Uh huh. Um, we so can fell the trees around afterwards after we get this built, but we really need to get this built first. Yeah. Um, I mean, they've been doing pretty good in their little tote house been working great for them but you know the weather's coming they need a little bit more room so stick with us today we're going to bring you along and show you as we build the structure how we're going to do it and what we're going to use we're using some of milled lumber so, so let's get started and we're going to show you how we're going to build a barn shelter thing yeah, yeah. and definitely leave down below the comments of all the screw ups that i'm making or any improvements you think we can make once we're done because of course by the time you see this video we're going to be done so if you have improvement ideas please leave those down below too because i'll probably need it for the next one i make absolutely all right follow along let's get busy we got an auger for the tractor because we definitely figured that Instead of trying to go rent one or something like that from here to there, it was an investment that we needed to probably do also because of just how many holes we're planning on drilling later. You need the front fence line, fence the lines posts and for this. Posts see, for the buildings. Yeah, so you're going to get to see the auger in action. We've already used it. Love it. Oh, yeah, it works great. But he, it's another one of those investments that you got to think ahead of going, how many post holes do you think you're going to be drilling? Is it worth renting? Or is it worth buying it? You know, I'm pretty sure the rental's not too much on it, but then you take the time of your time, your fuel of going to go get it and then bringing it back right. and then having to go bring it back again to return it. And so. And yes, you, you have to keep in mind, we're a small farm, a small homestead. We are not 200 acres. Yeah. So it almost made sense for us to rent it, but with the amount of work we have to do as we're turning what once was raw land, and we're, we've progressed it past that point, but we have a lot of holes to dig. And when we're done, if we're actually ever really done, yeah. 
having the auger is something that I can rent out my husband <laughs> to dig holes for other people, which creates income for, the, for the property. A hole. I'll tell you. Love using an auger on a tractor. Really saves you. I've got one of those little Harbor Freight, you know, handheld ones, but whew, it's a pain. We went with the nine inch bit on this thing too. Works great for that little mini tractor. We could either got a six, nine, or twelve. And I figure with most of our stuff, nine inches was pretty good to put in, you know, like a six foot or six, excuse me, a six inch post. At a the six most. foot post would be huge. Yeah, that'd be a big hole. Uh, six inches. So, I mean, when you think about that, six inches, that would give you an inch and a half all the way around space to tamp back in the dirt. So, I think this will. This size is gonna work out pretty good for, you know, putting in a, a corner brace of some six inch posts. Be perfect. I think it's gonna work out pretty good. Look at all that red clay. Right? Yay. Let's see what it looks like when you put a post in the hole. And about how big around is that one? I mean, heck, this is only about four inches. So, I guess plenty of room to, to tamp in there. I'll, I'll set this to where I want to put it, and then I'll just come back and chop it off at our height. Probably only gonna make this building about six feet tall at the most to the roof, so. But that gives you a good amount to tamp in, not too shabby, hopefully, so. I think it'll work out pretty good. All I gotta do is a few more. Look at there. Okay, okay. I don't know if you can hear us. How about? I got a generator going because I've got no power this way, so always a good note. On a homestead, one of the things that I think that everybody would agree on, decent little generator to have on hand. Look up, I don't think we can hear you. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe not. Anywho though, so got it with the air compressor going. I'm going to use my one nail gun for a little bit. Had a little bit of a setback because... We oh, had a lot of setbacks. Yeah, a little bit. The logs that I had for this, I looked at and went, oh yeah, those are 10 footers. My eyeballs are about a foot short, obviously, on measuring. Last year when our neighbor asked us what size logs we wanted, we said 10 foot 4 inches. That way we could adjust it for the mill. So this year when he cut down more pine trees and started bringing them over, we just assumed uh, our fault yeah. that he remembered that. Unfortunately, he only brought us 9 foot logs. Yeah. So those holes you saw us just drilling in the video was actually yesterday. Today's day 2. We had to pull the logs up, re-drill, kind of shrink the building a bit. A little bit, but still gonna work out, I think, great. Two foot shorter, because I made it basically an eight by eight now, so. It'll be fine. It's gonna work out all right, I think. So let's get back to doing all this. And of course, you know, like on a homestead, y'all are in your farm. You always have little boo-boos that don't go up, but just make sure that you, you don't get discouraged by it. Things no. are gonna happen. Just smile and go with it and go, ha, that's just my luck, right? It's, it's just part of life. Mistakes happen. We don't mind sharing our mistakes with you. So in this case, if you're ever doing something like this, double check the length of the logs you're about to mill. That's right. All right, let's get back to this.
once or twice. So you only have to cut one time. Because, first of all, my wife, Shauna, is being mean to me and will not run down to the store and get me a board stretcher because this one board ended up being an inch too short. Not my fault! I don't know why she won't go get it. But anywho. He didn't measure twice. I did not measure twice. I'm thinking this is already starting to look pretty good. What do y'all think? I, 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 I think so. I think so. <laughs> uh, I'm just tacking this up right now. My little, I'm just putting these pieces on with, I got some one inch staples and this little staple gun. I'm probably going to come back where all this overlaps and I'm going to shoot a little bit longer nail in it with my other nail gun that I've got. Or either I'm going to get some screws, something like that, just to get a little more sturdiest. And this is kind of the same concept we did because we kind of like that look that we did on a where our little brooder area for our chickens, turkey, you know, chicks, chickens, turkeys, probably ducks, whatever, you know, brooder area. Uh, and we kind of liked how it kind of looked and it held up so far pretty good. We're just using, because I had some really good wide logs, so since some of them tapered down, we thought put the wide parts on these bottoms for the back pieces and then the coverage pieces just to give it some look flip it to where the wide end was at the top to cover the skinnier top of course and make it kind of i don't know make it teardrop or point down so i don't know what do y'all think i i i'm liking it i'm liking it all right let's get back to this I really love this look. Like really big batting strips is what they are. And I love his idea of skinny, fat, fat, skinny. It's gorgeous. These boards are still very green. We're expecting quite a significant amount of shrinkage and we understand that. That's why we're doing the overlap so severe. Hi ho! made me some two by threes that I was just kind of, when I was doing some milling, they're a little, not all the way through, but I mean, it's like the stuff you get from Lowe's or Home Depot. I mean, it's got about the same kind of board, you know. But anyway, so I made a little divider through here because like we said, we're gonna have two different types of critters in here. So I figured it'd be nice to kind of separate it out a little bit and mainly just for kind of like doing a little feeding and then hopefully uh, at their nighttime, you know, sleeping, getting out of the rain and things like that. So, of course, it'll, it'll get a little wet if they're in it right now, I guess. I still gotta go get food. Okay, it's been long for us, quick for y'all back out here at our little project. Even though it hasn't been that long to you, this is day yeah. three for us. Keep in mind, we only work on the weekends because we both have full-time jobs. So it has been a whole week since we Last. said we'll be right back. All right, let's get back to it. Make it a little easier. I'm just gonna pop a line across here because you, know, you saw me just tack all this stuff up with those staples. And that was just to kind of get it into place so I can come back later with my little siding gun that's got those little ring shanks. Started using my thinking juice. Came up with a little idea, thinking it's gonna work out pretty good. Building a little trough to put in here for our little goats. And Shauna came up with the idea of why don't we angle it a little bit. And I was like, angle a trauma? I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, you know. But, since I have a post on this one side and another board on the other side, I was like, oh, well, yeah, I can just build a little trough, angle it down, and nail it in that way. So, that's what we're going to do. That way, the feed kind of rolls at an angle, and maybe it, 
might prevent them from, I'm making it kind of skinny too, so hopefully they won't jump up or try to jump up into it. So let's see if it works. You're such a goof. I think it'll work. I think I might try that plan on the other side too. Alrighty. Got it pretty much done. We're gonna show you around show here in just around. a second. Of what we're done. Of course, we've got uh, a flock. <laughs> a flock that think that they got a new house, which they did not get a new house. They but didn't. they're obviously already giving us the uh, their little thumbs up that they that like they, it. That they like it too. So let's give you a little tour of what it turned out to be like. One thing that I enjoy so much about this is that besides some nails. Well, I had everything out here. The, the roofing material I had actually out here. And made it basically ourselves, which is great. Didn't have to go to the lumber store to buy any wood or anything. And the nails and everything I already had. So, so we used some cedar posts and I just did, it's basically eight foot by eight foot and about six foot tall a little bit of a slight angle on the roof that all we did was just run some beams about two foot apart all the way down um, use cedar posts because they should hopefully last quite a long time we put a little with some basically one and a half by three inch boards made a little railing in the middle to separate the two sides we put a little this one little bar here is a small barrier for the guests that will be in the other side but this is just one of our first which we're kind of excited too it's not a portable building we made it as this is where some we're starting to get stuff where this is where it's going to be and then the next building so this is going to temporarily house the two until we get the other built for another spot for something else. Then this can be for a closed off area and not this because we'll probably end up probably putting maybe a, a gate across the front of this. Uh, actually two to separate each side maybe. We're still thinking on that. I left these two actually sticking out a little long because I may just hang stuff on it when I come out here or expand out this way a little bit with it. I'm, I'm not really sure yet. It's a good so place to sit coffee. Look, yeah, and it goes good for a coffee spot. Well, I'm way over there. Thank you. Uh huh. So we made these, you know. Two by four store, like a store bought two by four, one and a half by three and a half. Nice. First time I actually milled up a, a group of two by fours when I did that, so this is pretty nice. And then, don't mind this, this is for a future project. The gutter, of course, for rain catching off the back. But then we just took our pine logs and cut them straight down even with the the live edge on it instead of making nice pretty ones because we thought that when you look at it when you look at it i don't know I, this is just mine and shauna's personal feelings we like this kind of look it looks pretty nice i love it uh instead of the real clean cut i was going to think about doing clean cut boards with probably about a maybe a three inch or a two inch batten strip that went down. So I thought, ah, I'll use these. I got those wider logs. I can make a wide section. 
and then cover up, you know, because I had some logs that, you know, fanned out a little thinner at the end. I do love it. So, love it. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know about y'all. Please leave that down below. And yay or nay on, on this look. I don't know. I like it. I'd like to know what y'all think too. We're still thinking about maybe putting like a sealer on it or some paint. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to hold up long enough until I can make up my mind and, and thought on it. On the inside, all we did was about every two feet, ran up just a two by four across to nail everything together. I've got a couple of little trough things that I made out of the two by fours and doubling up my little siding pieces here, which are about seven sixteenths, some of them to half an inch. Uh, and then the troughs, we did kind of angle them a little bit so that everything would kind of roll to the front. <gasps> and we got a visitor behind us. Hey, buddy. There's a grandbaby. Oh, hi. Hi. There's a grandbaby. Do you like it, Owen? What do you think? Give it a thumbs up. Pops would really like that. No? <laughs> See? Isn't it cool? Oh, now he wants to hold my hand. Yeah. Look at there. Say, yeah. We like that. So, hopefully everybody liked it all. We threw a little bit of hay down in here for our tenants and we're hoping they're going to like it. They've been kind of looking over here at us working on it. So I think they're going to like it. Are you leaving me, buddy? Are you leaving me? So please leave any comments down below. We'd really appreciate any thoughts or any suggestions you might have. And until next time, y'all have a great and safe one. Can't wait to meet y'all again. Y'all have a great and safe one.